Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 4, The Relationship of Division and Subtraction. Very similar to Lesson 3, which was the relationship of multiplication and addition. So this is the same. Classwork number exercise one. Here we go. Build subtraction equations using the indicated equations. The first example has been completed for you. So take a look at example one. See if you can figure out how to do the next three. Pause the video. And then when you're done, check to see if you've done it correctly. Okay, so here we go. So if I were first doing this for the first time, I would look at this, I'd say, okay, there's a 12, there's a 12, there's an 18, so I'm imagining there should be an 18 here, and it says divided by x, and I see minus x here, so I'm going to say there's a divided by x, so I'm going to say minus x here, and then it says it equals 4, and just looking at this, I see there's 1, 2, 3, 4 x's, so that must be how many x's there are, so I'm going to subtract it 3 times in this one. And it's probably going to equal zero. That's just an assumption. So 18x divide 18 divided by x equals three. So what it's saying is 18 minus that x three times will get me to zero. Okay. So if I do a tape diagram, this is not going to be easy. One. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So there's eighteen um, squares. Change color here. And it says 12 minus 3 minus 3 minus 3 minus 3. Well, what are they doing here? They're saying 12 divided by x equals 4. And therefore, if they take 18 and break it into three groups of 18, then I would say, well, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if I did an oval here for these six, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I drew an oval around these six like they did they're much neater than mine one two three four five six very difficult to write with one of these pens and there's another group of six and i use them all up there are three of them so then i would say x equals six okay so what we're doing is we're taking that first number subtracting the variable the number of times that we see the answer with of the answer is five so that means I can subtract five one times five two three four five that's going to be equal to zero so let's go back up here and talk about this a little bit 18 divided by some number equals three okay so if I break this up I came up with three groups of six equals up all 18. So if I took 6 and plugged it in here, 18 minus 6 is 12. Minus 6 more is 6. And minus 6 is definitely 0. So 35 divided by y equals 5. So what number can I subtract from 35 5 times and get 0? That's what this is asking. Okay. And this time I'm going to use y equals and I'm not going to take the time to draw these. I might, maybe I'll bring them in from the teacher edition because that's really difficult to draw. So maybe I'll just one. Okay, so here it is. That would have been really difficult to draw. That's quite a bit of squares. So it's taking 35 squares, grouping them as sevens. So 35 divided by seven is five. So y equals seven. One, two, three, four, five circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in each one. So 35 minus 7 is 28, minus 7 is 21, minus 7 is 14, minus 7 is 7, minus 7 is 0, and that's what we're looking for. Okay, one more. 42 minus 
C minus C minus C minus C minus C one two three four five and minus C equals zero. Okay, so 42 divided by some number equals 6. Well, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And in this case, C equals 7. Okay. Now let's go down to the next group. Is there any difference here? Now we have a variable... And then we're going to subtract. Hmm, so what's the difference here? Here we said there's certain x's that we're going to. So now they're taking and saying how many times this gets subtracted from 12. And that's what our variable is going to be. It's another way of looking at it. So we're going to say 18 minus 3 minus 3. Minus 3, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of them. So x equals 6. Okay, here's what our tape diagram would look like. 6 groups of 3, totaling 18. Next question. 35 minus 5 is 30 minus 5 25 minus 5 20 minus 5 15 minus 5 10 minus 5 5 minus 5 0 I had to do that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 times so y equals 7 35 divided by 7 is 5 okay this one here they keep getting bigger, so I have to make them smaller so they fit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven circles of one, two, three, four, five. And that definitely will give me seven circles of five, three, five. Okay, next, 42 minus six is 36. Minus six is 30. Minus six is 24. Minus 6 is 18. Minus 6 is 12. Minus 6 is 6. Minus 6 is 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7 times I had to subtract. So Z equals 7. 42 divided by 7 equals 7. Okay, so now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 circles. One, two, three, four, five, six squares per circle. Seven circles of six gives me 42. So 42 divided by seven equals six. Exercise two, answer each question using what you have learned about the relationship of division and subtraction. If 12 divided by x equals three, how many times would x have to be subtracted from 12 in order for the answer to be zero? So the answer you would say was X would have to be subtracted blank times. Okay, answer in a complete sentence. So if 12 divided by some number is 3, how many times would X have to be subtracted from 12 in order for the answer to be 0? And the answer is 3 times. So it would be 12 minus x minus x minus x equals zero. Okay, so what does x have to be in order for that to happen? 12 minus 3 is 9, minus 3 is 6, minus 3 is 3, that's not zero. 12 minus 4 is 8, 8 minus 4 is 4, 4 minus 4 is zero, and bingo, x equals 4. So you can always try it that way as well. Trial and error. Okay, let's try this one more time. Now we have a question that says 36 minus f minus f minus f minus f equals 0. Write a division sentence for the repeated subtraction sentence. And what is the value of f? So I'd say 36 divided by. 
And then what are we going to put here? Do we put F or do we put the number of times that we have F there? Go back if you don't know and look at our last problems. Okay. Oftentimes you should look back on what we've done and it usually is there. So again, we have this problem 36 minus a variable several times. Where have we seen that? Right here, 18 minus a variable several times. So you say divided by that variable equals how many of those variables that you're going to use. So I'm going to say F equals, and there are one, two, three, four of them, and that's what you put over here. So 36 divided by F equals four. So we have four Fs that we're dividing by. So in the end, so then F equals. So you could say you can crack, you could try like um, factors of 36. Obviously, these are factors. I could say let's try nine or ten. 36 minus 10 is 26. 26 minus 10 is 16. 16 minus 10 is 6. 6 minus 10 is negative 4, not 0. So 10 was too big if I got a negative. So now let's go smaller and try 9. 36 minus 9 is 27. 27 minus 9 is 18. 18 minus 9 is 9. 9 minus 9 is 0. And there it is. F equals 9. Part C. If 24 divided by B is 12, which number is being subtracted 12 times in order for the answer to be 0? So what they're saying is we have 24 minus B minus B minus B. There's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 equals zero. So we can start with numbers like, maybe you think it's three. 24 minus three is 21, minus three is 18, minus three is 15, minus three is 12, minus three is nine, minus three is six, minus three is three, minus three is zero. I'm right here, but there's still four more left. So three was too much. Let's try two. 24 minus 2 is 22, minus 2 is 20, minus 2 is 18, minus 2 is 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0, so B equals 2. Okay, that's the end of lesson 4, go do your problem set.